Jacob, how are you? Thanks for doing this. So, looking back on uh, your, you know, you're just looking back on your decision to transfer here from Texas, what's what's it been like for you these last three years, and compared to maybe what you thought it would be like when you came in? Oh, it's been real good. You know, it's, it's been exactly what what I thought it was going to be. Uh, uh, the accomplishments I came here for, you know, make it to the NCAA tournament well, last year. We, we're still trying to do that this year, and you know, just trying to help just raise the program, you know, that's, why, that's the reason why I came here, you know, just trying to make the program better for Coach Pico and just the staff. And that was really my main goal, <laughs> you know, just just coming in, just making a big jump for the program. And, you know, me, when I see, when I see, when, when Coach Pico asked me to come here, he told, he said something about uh, making it to the tournament, and that was really our main goal. And that was the main reason why I came here since, not, we haven't been since 91, and, you know, being a part of that, just, just, just thinking about being a part of that just made me want to make this jump to come here. But it's been great. We'll go to Keith Sargent and then JP. Jacob, um, getting through. I know, I know it's a knock on wood scenario where you don't really want to talk about it in general. But to be able to get to this point in the season and not have a, a break because of COVID, um, I'm curious. Two part question. One. How have you been able to do it? And then reflecting on it, was there one moment, like maybe in the off season, where you guys, you know, had a message that, that you know we're gonna, you know, if we're not gonna bubble together, we're gonna, you know, everything we can to try to, you know, do everything right and, and try to play for the for the ultimate purpose to get the NCAA tournament. I mean, I think I feel like everybody, well, really everybody, just bought in into what we needed to do, and we just all told each other that we was going to stay safe and stay out of harm's way. We wasn't going to go out. We weren't going to do anything to risk COVID for anybody. And we, we basically just hung around each other all season. And that's how we managed to manage COVID and stayed away from other people who we, who we weren't supposed to be around. And we, we talked about it every day, you know, just made sure, like make sure you guys wearing your mask. We just, we just made sure we doubled up on everything and made sure uh, everybody was straight. And I feel, I feel like that's what, we push each other to, to do the right thing this year, and that, that helped us a lot with maintaining not getting COVID or having any COVID stops. Go ahead, JP. Uh, Jacob, uh, was it, what was it like you know, this year you're, you're coming to the final home game? Uh, well, two-part question. Was it, was it tough playing you know, without – obviously it was tough with you – know, I asked you before the season, was it tough playing – Without without a packed rack, is it the second part? Is it frustrating that they, they finally decided uh, the state of New Jersey that starting March first they could have ten percent capacity of fans at indoor events? But obviously that comes a little too late because your last two games are on the road. So uh, is that frustrating that you can't even have like a ten percent at this last game? Uh, no, it hasn't been frustrating. You know, it's just what it's just what we got right now. It's just what we have to live with and. You know, we weren't going to take this year for granted. You know, we, we all want to play basketball here. So we had to take the, that sacrifice. You no, know, it was just a sacrifice. No fans. My family have not been able to come to the game. You know, it's just a sacrifice. And you know, I bought into it. We all bought into it. And it hasn't really been a problem, you know, and I haven't really been upset about it. My, my parents get to come to my senior day tomorrow. So, you know. That's a blessing. Just, just good, just to have, just to have them back around after I haven't seen my parents in like seven months. Seven months. Yeah, it's been a little. Usually, usually every year I play, they come to almost every game, and that's been a that's been the new challenge for me. Just not seeing my parents and them coming to the game or my pops. But it's, I've been, I've, it's been good though. Now that they get they get to come tomorrow, and that's that's what I'm so excited about. Thanks, Thanks. Up. Brian Ponseca and Aaron Brighton. Hey, Jacob. So, uh, first, a couple quick ones and then, then another question. But one, how are you feeling physically after uh, how that last game ended? Are you, are you uh, oh. feeling physical? Oh, no, I'm cool. I'm cool. I just, just bump. You know how you bump your knee? And it's like, ah. It was like, I, it just, it would hurt. That one hurt for like five, ten minutes, you know? And it was just sore. It's still sore. But that's all it was. It was just a, just a little bump. N nothing serious, you know? You know me. Gotcha. And uh, you, you mentioned your, your parents are coming. It's it, you guys found out about this yesterday. Quick turnaround. I guess were they just did they hear the news and buy tickets right away? Just how did that situation kind of play out? Uh, I called them. 
I know I, they were, I got woken up to the message and I called them immediately. And as soon as I said it, they just, you know, they, they already had like kind of like a, like kind of at the back of their mind that they were going to let like our parents come, at least the seniors, but they didn't know for sure, but they already had that planned out. So when I told them, they already went ahead and just got the ticket because they already prepared for it. And we haven't talked to you since, but in the last month, your roles kind of changed. You've been coming off the bench, I guess, first, how did you feel when you first got that news and that role switched? And what's your, what's your mindset been now in that role that you, you also played last season? Uh, I mean, it's, it hasn't been, I mean, that's what, um, I feel like that's what coach Pico thought we needed to do to make us be better. And I took, I took, you know, so I didn't take it any offense or anything. I just felt like that's what we needed to be better. That's a better team me coming off the bench. And, you know, I just took, just took ownership, you know what I'm saying? Came, can't get down anything, you know what I'm saying? I can't let my teammates down by thinking about that, and that would be selfish of me. And I just basically took, like I did last year, just, I'm saying, took strides with it and just did what I can do when I got out there and did my best and played my hardest. Thanks. Jacob, uh, talking about last season, how much does the last week of last season, how you guys came through under pressure, how much does that help your mindset as a team with the situation you're in now, uh, coming down the stretch again. Uh, I just, I just know, I know with these guys, I know we got all got in us, and we have a lot of fight in us, and um, I know, I know, we're gonna be, I know, guys, we're gonna be ready to play because I, we've been in this situation before, and every time we get put in this situation, it's like I don't know, it's like a, <laughs> it's like joy the next game. We just, we all just start gelling together and go back to the old. Rutgers, we play Rutgers basketball when we get in tough times like these. The basketball we know, we know how to play. Go to Steve Politti and then Jerry. Hey, Jake, while it's senior night, it's such an unusual year where you, you will have an extra year of eligibility. Have you given any thought to it? And have you talked to your other teammates about their decision? Uh, not really. I haven't, we haven't really... I haven't talked to any of my other teammates about it, and I haven't really put any thought in it. I'm just now it's like now it's trying to just trying to play in the tournament. Now I'm like I'm not even we'll talk about that after the season. Like right, as of right now, I'm just trying to play in the tournament for my senior year. Just trying to get in there. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Jerry. Can't hear you. Jacob, what's it what's it like playing with Geo? Uh, and we got you got a good Geo story for us about what he's like as a teammate. <laughs> Geo, it's, it's fun playing with Geo. Uh, you know, we always got little laughs on the court, and you know me, I have like some type of fire to me sometimes, and he always tells me about how I'll be making him crack up when I'm on the court when I be like getting hyped. <laughs> And it's just it's just something that we just laugh at while we're in the game. It's just you know, that's that's our little inside joke. We just look at each other and start laughing because I do something like crazy on the court. <laughs> and that's just that's why I love playing with G because he always keeps a smile on his face and he always ready to go. Thanks a lot. If there's nothing else for Jacob, I'm gonna let him go. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Uh,